Hey guys, AJ's Aquatics here, and I got something to show you guys. My aquarium box. Come on, let's get into this. Let's go. Get the cichlid one. There's a planted tank, and then there is a salt water um, uh, box. So this one is for planted tanks. So let's go in here. I have to break this bad boy up. Okay, now. Instead of me seeing it first, I like to do this tradition for some reason. Show the viewers everything first before I get to see it. So here we go. Hopefully nothing falls out. Okay, so this is basically the winners. Basically all these are winners. First place, second place, third, all that stuff. So in order to earn these or to win these, uh, you would have to enter in a uh, little thing. So we'll make videos uh, on this uh, little box so last month I won and I got like uh, the pump here this uh, marine land uh, pump that I got which is amazing and then I had these um, power heads to like circle around it's it's just amazing you if you guys are not on this then I don't know what you guys are on <laughs> So uh, this month's winner is Turbo Fish and Learning to Fish Keep. Those are the winners of my aquarium box for, I believe, this month? Yeah, this month or last month. It's a little confusing. And then there is another way to win. You put it, uh, a post on Facebook. And that per person that win won that post was Walker F. And that's win a chance, win a free box. That's pretty interesting. That's pretty cool. And then everything goes down. If you go to their thing, it's 50% off of every member only use code. But it's all that stuff. So that's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, I see a lot of different merchants that are here. And I not personally know them, but I've heard of them. So they're pretty cool too. Michael's Fish Room, really cool guy. Uh, haven't had the pleasure of meeting him. But really cool guy, um, and so let's get into the box. Well, first, uh, this is like basically um, what is inside the box. I'm not gonna read this, but it already looks good. Uh, first, I'm gonna go on. Let's see this here. This is a little net. Uh, there's nothing crazy about this, but it's a uh, let me see, brine shrimp net. Vine mesh, um, vinyl cover, yeah. Okay, so this is like a three inch um, little <laughs> net. It's a tiny little thing. Um, I think I might use this for my bedas. Um, having a lot in there. And, and for like, and for my guppies and you know, the babies, the life bearers can take these out with this. So this is pretty cool, I like this. There's, this thing is pretty jam packed here. And then we have a bubble mist, an air wall. Here we go. I actually, uh, something happened to my other one that broke. So the little valve here broke off. So this actually comes into handy a lot. So I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be using this. Another thing is small fish formula. Oh, this is, could be like, uh, this is pretty cool. I'm going to try this out too. Here it goes. Here's how, how everything looks. Two ounces. Pretty dope. Pretty nice. I like this. For um, and it has a picture of a better. I'm gonna try it out with my males. Uh, another thing is something that I wanted for a long time. I just didn't have the time to actually go out and buy one. But this is a breeder sponge. Um, it is for 60 gallon, I believe. Um, use with air pump and or power head uh, safe for use in breeding or fry aquariums this is cool because my males are uh, well I have a couple of betters in there that I'm breeding so instead of like the the babies going inside that big um, you know hang on the back filter and killing them this is actually something that you guys can use and this is amazing I recommend people get this I recommend people getting this. This is pretty cool. And this is from um, Sephora. 
I'm pronouncing it wrong, but I love the fact that this is here. Okay. Next is shrimp pellets from Omega One. Okay, uh, shrimp pellets. So this is uh, stuff that sinks to the bottom of the tank. So basically your quarry cats, uh, your shrimp, your anything that hangs out on the bottom would definitely love these. Um, here, here's just how it looks. Um, I'm going to be using these also. This is pretty cool. Um, thank you, Aquarium Box. You guys are doing amazing. Last but not least, I believe, it is this little... Um, shell uh basically uh i could use this for a lot of um animals or a lot of fish who like to hide um so i'll have like you know uh some placos would hide in this um any fish that likes to hide actually would go in here and just hide out i don't know the name of this it's i think it's a coconut shell definitely looks like a coconut shell let's see so, uh, it's Omega-1 shrimp pellets, which is this. Uh, brine shrimp net, which is the net that you saw here. Uh, flexible air wand, this is it. Um, medium sponge filter, which this is it. Um, gorilla pod, gorilla pod? This is this. So, and this is new, by the way. In total, it's $45.95. I paid $39.99 for this stuff. So it really came through. Um, and I just like this stuff. It looks really cool. I'm going to actually... Um, where is this from? It was sent from... Brian Strip Net. They didn't put this in. See? They, they didn't put this in. So... Really, really, you actually get a lot for your buck. So thank you, my aquarium box. You guys rock. You guys are amazing. And this is it for this segment of my aquarium box. <laughs> but uh, I do have other ideas, other things that I'm going to be doing on this channel. Right now, I'm going to be starting to film uh, like a neon. That's many. I'm going to film... Uh, a tank that I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be planting, I'm going to be doing a lot of crazy stuff. I also wanted to show you guys my planted tank that is growing crazy. A lot of people out there might say you should start trimming it. I say I'm going to leave it alone uh, because once I start doing stuff, it gets messed up. So let me show you that before we end this. This is my um, huge, huge Probably like 90 something gallon tank here. Uh, um, this algae here, I'm going to be removing it here. Only I'm going to re be removing the algae from the front. I do have algae in the back wall. I think I'm going to leave that there just because I love the fact that um, the platies will go back there and nip on it and everything. So everything would be. I, I just love how everything's set up here. Um, I have some platies. I have some uh, diamond tetras, which do great. These fins, I actually got it from Petco for a while back, and their fins did not look like that. So they're growing beautiful. That concludes our little unboxing segment. I hope you guys loved my one of my tanks, actually. I have others that are not complete yet, but I can't wait to show you guys my tanks so thank you guys for watching staying this um long thank you guys so much and have a great one there uh, i have a couple of cool stuff in here actually i have some cory cats in the bottom i have some shrimp ghost shrimp in the back somewhere too hiding out but this is i love this tank just love this tank